Hey everybody, happy Monday and welcome back. This week we're going to be talking about identifying fractions. So I just want to circle this word real quick, identifying. So as you might remember, that's just a fancy way of saying naming. A few other things that we need to remember about fractions. I'm going to write one on the board real quick. Let's take two thirds. Fractions are always made up of two parts, a numerator and a denominator. We're gonna talk more about what that numerator and denominator mean. The numerator or the number in the top is the number that represents part of the whole. So if I'm looking at this model here, I can see there's two equal sized pieces, but only one of those pieces is shaded in. That means only one part of this fraction is shaded. That's the one part I wanna deal with. So that's gonna go in my numerator, giving me that one. The denominator on the other hand is the number that represents the total number of equal size pieces. The, and this number is usually under the fraction bar. I'm sorry, not usually, it is under the fraction bar. So again, same model. I can see there's one, two equal size pieces inside my fraction model. That means my denominator is going to be two because there's two total pieces. The denominator will always represent the total number of pieces that we have in the shape. Okay, so like I said, this first lesson is going to be just about practicing identifying fractions again. So hopefully most of you will find this as just a helpful review. Let's take a look at this fraction. We're going to talk about the shaded and the unshaded pieces inside our rectangle today. So what fraction represents the shaded part of the rectangle? When I'm talking about the shaded, when I'm talking about the shaded, maybe, all right, folks, I'm talking about these pieces in yellow. There we go. When I'm talking about the shaded, I'm talking about these pieces in yellow for now. Shaded just means it's filled in in some way. So I wanna know what fraction that part of the rectangle is. To do that, I need to determine the numerator and the denominator. One, two, three, four. There are four equal size pieces inside this uh, model. Now, when I think back to the last slide, I remember that when there's four equal size pieces, that means the four will be my denominator. We're not really wanting to work, are we? That means four is going to be my denominator because there's a total of four pieces. I'm gonna use this line as my fraction bar. Now the shaded portion is going to be the parts of my fraction I'm focusing on. There are one, two pieces shaded in, which means my numerator is a two. My fraction is two fourths. So let's just try to write that a little more neatly. Two, no? two fourths, that's a little better, two fourths. Now let's take a look at the unshaded part of the rectangle or any of the pieces that do not have any kind of coloring to them whatsoever. I know that this shape still has four equal size pieces in it because I counted that for my earlier fraction. So again, my denominator is going to be four. Now I need to look specifically at those unshaded pieces. One, two. There are two pieces that are unshaded, which means the part that I'm focusing on is going to be two. Two fourths is the fraction of unshaded pieces in this shape as well. Now, let's do one more example. Sally's mom cut her cake into eighths. Sally and her two friends ate, eat, ate a piece, each ate a piece. How much of the cake did they eat? Well, in this case, I've actually got to make my fraction model before I can begin. I notice 
that Sally's mom cut it into eighths. That means there should be eight equal size pieces inside my shape. Let's start by partitioning, which is just a fancy way of saying cutting or dividing up. But let's start by partitioning this shape into eighths. I'm going to cut it in half. I know when I cut my halves in half, I'll end up with fourths, and I can just stop and check. One, two, three, four equal size pieces. Now I just need to cut or partition my fourths in half and end up with eighths. Now I have eight equal size pieces. Now my problem says Sally and her two friends each ate a piece, so that means Sally friend number one and friend number two. That means we need to shade in three pieces in order to show Sally and her friends. One friend, two friends, three friends. Now let's go back to our question. How much of the cake did they eat? Well, it wants to know the fraction. So once again, I need to determine the numerator and the denominator. The denominator in this case is the total number of equal size pieces. Well, I have eight equal size pieces inside my shape. So eight is going on the bottom to represent my denominator. Now let's look for the parts that we need to find of the fraction. We wanna know how much of the cake Sally and her friends ate. One, two, three. They ate three pieces. Each of these pieces represents an eighth. So when I put them all together, that means Sally and her friends ate three eighths of the cake. When you're doing your practice problems today, you're gonna be asked to identify different fractions, determining the numerator and the denominator. At any point you need any help, come back to the screen, come back to this PowerPoint, to rewatch the video. Good luck.